Hello everyone, my name is Simran and I am your science teacher. Students, in the last class we have completed the chapter number 4 that is sorting material into groups. Alright, so today we are starting the 5th chapter of your syllabus that is separation of substances. Okay, we will be doing this chapter in 3 parts. Okay, and today we are doing the first part of this chapter. By the chapter name, that is separation of substances, it is very clear that in this chapter we are going to separate the substances from each other. But students, why do we separate things? Like for example, by separation what I mean, I am separating tea leaves from tea, right? I am separating the impurities from the rice, I am churning milk to obtain butter, okay? And so many things like that. I need to separate different different things, different different substances to get useful substances as if I am not separating the different different substances, it can be harmful for me. For example, if I have not separated the stones from rice and I will just boil the rice up, when I am eating that particular rice, then I will have that impurities in my mouth, okay? So it will be harmful for me. So we do separate the things for useful purposes, okay? So let's see why do we separate things. So bacho, this is a table in front of you. These are the separating processes, okay? And this is the purpose why we are doing the separation. And these are the things that we'll do with the separated components, right? For example, first separating stones from rice. If we are separating stones from rice, why we are doing so? to get two different different useful components okay we are getting doing this to get different different two useful components okay and after i have done with that separation process what will i do i'll throw away the solid substance okay like i'll throw away the stones all right in the second method churning milk to obtain butter when i'm churning milk to obtain butter what is the purpose for my separation i want to separate the impurities from that particular milk or butter okay that is why i am doing the separation part okay and what will i do after that i'll throw away the impurities okay what will i do with the impurities i'll throw that away okay third separate tea leaves why i am separating tea leaves from tea firstly i want to remove the harmful and unuseful part okay this is my purpose and what do I do with that particular impurities? I will throw that particular tea leaves, used tea leaves in soil where plants are growing because that tea leaves will help the plants to nourish. Okay, so we do, so we do separate the things to obtain different, different substances, useful substances and for a particular purpose. Okay, we do the separation part for our convenience okay so students we have discussed that why do we separate substances right now what are the separation methods depending upon the substances size and quantity we do have a lot of methods for separating things okay but it depends upon what are the substances that we want to separate the quantity of that particular substances and the size of that particular substances if we know these two things that we can then we can easily do the separation part. So depending upon the size and the quantity of separating things, okay, then there are a lot of methods to separate different different substances. So let's see. These are the methods of separation. First method is hand picking. Second method is threshing. Third method is winnowing. Fourth method is sieving then sedimentation decantation and filtration next condensation and evaporation so we do have a lot of methods to separate different different substances okay we'll discuss each one of them okay one by one so first we'll discuss about hand picking okay what do you mean by the term hand picking it is very clear from its name hand picking means when we are picking the substances that we want to separate with the help of our hands this method is called hand picking okay in this particular method we are separating the components of a mixture okay 
with the help of our hands okay and in this particular method you should keep in your mind that that the impurities are of larger size that is why we are able to pick that up with the help of our hands and also the quantities of impurities are not very large that is why we are able to pick it up with hands okay so hand picking is the method method of hand picking can be used for separating slightly large sized impurities okay thodi si badi impurities ke liye use kiya jata hai slightly larger sized impurities like the pieces of dust stone and husk from wheat rice and pulses okay the quantity of such impurities is usually not very large okay is it clear when we are separating the husk or dust particles from the rice wheat okay then we are doing the separation with hand picking method okay so let's see the second method of separation that is threshing what is threshing bachcho threshing is the process or the method of separation in which we are separating the grains from the stalks okay when you are separating grains from the stalks you are doing threshing process of separation okay we all know this thing that in the grains field the grains are there in the form of this stalks these long stalks right in this process of threshing what we do we just get that particular stalks beat that up and in this way the grains are obtained the grains are separated from stalk by just beating okay so the process of threshing the process that is used to separate grains from stalks etc is threshing when you are separating grains from the stalks is called threshing in this process the stalks are beaten to free the grain seeds right and this method is performed by bullocks and machines all right students so let's see the third method that is winnowing okay in the process of winnowing in this particular process of winnowing you are separating a mixtures different different components okay it is very clear in this particular method of winnowing what is the main thing that you are separating the components of a mixture in a mixture some components are of lighter sized okay and some are heavier particles okay in this particular method you are separating lighter particles from the heavier particles okay just see in this picture this woman is standing in the on the stool right and just she has a sieve in her hand right she is just letting go the mixture downwards right and pouring it downwards what will happen the lighter her particles will flew away in the direction of wind and the heavier particles will form a heap like structure on the platform of the winnowing okay this is what winnowing process is all about okay let's see the method of separating components of a mixture is called winnowing that i have told you okay winnowing is used to separate winnowing is used to separate heavier and lighter heavier and lighter components of a mixture okay by wind or blowing air okay next you'll see that this method is commonly used by the farmers to separate lighter husk particles from heavier seeds of grain grains are heavier than the dust particles right and that is why the farmers use this method to separate the husk or dust particles from the grains okay the husk particles are carried away by the wind the wind takes away the husk particles and the seeds of the grain get separated and form a heap near the platform for winnowing heap means ki dher lag jata hai grains ka okay so we'll see the fourth method that is sieving sieving means we are separating the dust particles or the large sized impurities from the flour okay you have a chalni or a sieve in your hand and you are just putting the atta or the flour over here okay 
the flower is so fine that it will pass from the holes of that particular sieve and what will left behind on the sieve the large sized impurities stones dust particles etc okay so this method is sieving okay let's see sieving allows the fine flour particles to pass through the holes of the sieve while the bigger impurities remain on the sieve okay like you can see here the flour the fine particles of the flour will just pass from the hole of the sieve and on that particular sieve the large size impurities will be left okay but so when you are making the lentils like the roofs of your houses the mixture that you use is cement sand and that small stones right that particular mixture is also separated with the help of sieve okay like this sieving is used when components of a mixture have different size because the sizes of sand cement and stones are different so impurities will be separated like this okay so students what we have discussed today we have discussed about four methods of separation hand picking threshing winnowing and sieving so in next class we'll discuss about some more methods till then do study at your home bye bye